Hey, Theo. Uh, recently, I was at the OBGYN, the uh, lady's doctor. Um, I recently miscarried, and, you know, you have to go for a couple appointments afterward. And I happen to have been listening to your and Stavros' podcast, and the doctor overheard where you prefer to call the ladies' parts uh, cooter. Oh, yeah. Cooter, baby. I know what you're saying, and that's... Yeah, because cooter, you know, it, you, people know what it is, but you could also pretend, hey, it could be something else, you know. Oh, man, we were, we just saw a cooter run by here, you know. Oh, look, what is that, a cooter? You know, you could almost pretend, oh, damn, my cousin, he just got attacked by a cooter. Um, yeah, just there's, I think, you know, it's still enough of the masking where you don't have to, you know, say, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So onward. Instead of the other words that starts with a P. Yeah. And I just said it too. I'm going to say it again real quick. I'm going to pretend like I'm not saying it, but okay. Onward. And. She thought that it was absolutely one of the funniest things she had ever heard. And then she asked what you would prefer to call the male equivalent. And I realized I didn't know what you would prefer to call it. That deaf leopard, homie. That's what I call it. That deaf leopard, baby. That skeet pony. You know what I'm saying? That bus knuckle. I think those are good terms for it. That sperm randall, they'll call it sometimes. Ooh, ooh. daddy got that sperm randall on him. Um, what else people call it? The uh, That batter twig. Somebody say, hey, let me break you off a little something. Let me break you off half a tablespoon out this batter twig. I would say wiener as well. You know. Um, I think people say wiener, and I think wiener's good. You can say it near children. If you yell it at somebody too, suck my wiener. It almost seems like, oh, this guy kind of means it because everybody says SMD, right? But if you say, suck my wiener, I think people are more into it. What else? I watched that uh, Joey Chestnut, that guy, that Frank, that that fucking, that dude is a damn Frank pony, huh? Gosh. And that dude just, he's that real boner homie. He'll throw them, uh, he'll just guzzle them Franks. God, how many gay dudes watch the Nathan's? Hot dog eating contest. I mean, it must be, it must be like the when people do, do those Game of Thrones viewing parties. There's no way that in gay culture that isn't a huge thing. That that that, why, that should be on pay per view. At every gay club, I feel like there's no. It would it should be the biggest night at the gay club. It's it's like the Super Bowl. It feels like. Some dude, right, yammering down 67 francs, bro. That'll, I mean, that'll, if you, I think if you are gaying around, I think that will excite you. Well, I would think so. Um, so, anyway, just thinking out loud, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's what I think I would call it, probably. And I think uh, I would call it probably uh, Wiener. That Cooter Bridge, too. Because a lot of times, if you're making love to somebody and you look down, your your Wiener just looks like a bridge between you and Cooter. 
You know, you could if you if you even had like little characters, you could put them on it. A hunting we will go. A hunting we. Or you know, I don't know what you could do different music, I guess, but. But yeah, Joey Chestnut, damn, he rumbled down in Franks, boy. And then he's wet. He's just like his all, it's all on his shirt and chest. There's no, how is that not the gay Super Bowl? 